Hey, this is Tanisha. So today we're going to talk about mark making and I will be using my various jelly plates. So as you can see here, I have a couple different ones. We will be using these and we'll also be using brayers. I have one that's my favorite. You will, there's different kinds. So you'll definitely have to try out different types of brayers to see which ones you like. And so, um, what is mark making? So mark making is used by a lot of abstract painters a lot of times it's where we get started with the abstract painting but it's also uh, used throughout the abstract painting so it's just different marks you make with pens with with uh, different tools that could be gelatos or any type of um, various tools you can think of things you can find a uh, handmade brushes or stamps or you can even use smaller jelly plates to make mark making on your art. And so I decided for this video, I would show you how I uh, create mark making papers with the jelly plate. And this is one of many, many ways to do mark making. You don't have to use jelly plates to make marks. You can just make marks right on the paper yourself. The nice thing about jelly plates is that you can layer over and over and over on one sheet of paper different designs and come up with a really complex design and then you can add that to your abstract painting if you like especially if you're using a wood cradle board then you can add these pieces and collage them into your art and i think using collage papers is really really nice i've seen some really interesting abstract pieces with collage papers so this is really one of many great ways to do that and so for me, I like creating these papers because I can use these, like I said, in my abstract painting, or I can use them just on simple collage projects where I'm simply trying to just play around with color and play around with um, putting different pieces together. I feel like art is sort of a puzzle and you're trying to figure out, you know, what looks good what doesn't look good, what goes together, what doesn't go together. You know, there's so many parts to making good art, like composition, color theory, and you can use these papers to, to just play around. Uh, I'll definitely make a video on how I utilize collage and how I use that to play with color theory, with composition, different things like that. So I'm sure you'll see these papers come up again. And actually I've used these in a recent abstract painting that I'm still working on but it might be added to the channel we'll see but as you can see here with the jelly plate I'm adding different types of paints I'm using different tools like this scraper tool here and then I'm, I'm just piling on the design on top of a previous design and sometimes I end up not sometimes I like what I've done and sometimes I don't like it but I think the beauty of it is you can always just keep going. You can add solid paint right on top. So right now I'm not liking this too much. So I am going to actually bring out my smaller jelly plate and show you how I use that. What's nice about these smaller jelly plates is that you can actually take it and put it right onto the paper, um, which is nice because it's harder when the jelly plate is bigger to put it on your art. But I can take this and just place it on top of my art to get some different types of marks. So it really makes it a lot more convenient. So as we move forward in this session, I will use that smaller round plate to make that last jelly plate print look better, not the little one on the screen. But here I'm just showing you again how I'm using a rectangle one to easily just put it on a different piece of paper or just imagine me putting it on um, an art piece that I'm working on. And so here, right now, I'm just going to use this rubber tool, rubber, I don't know, scraper, I'm not sure what people call it, but 
the best thing, the good thing about about the jelly plate is you can use so many different tools on it as long as it doesn't poke it. And so here I'm just showing you just different ways you can add color to the jelly plate. I am not even really hitting the surface of the mark making that can be done on here, but um, I just say experiment, try everything. Here I am using a mesh template that I created. I drew these lines here and I made it into a mesh template, added it to the jelly plate and then printed it, printed it on the paper. And so, um, as you can see, it's just so many different ways you can use this uh, jelly plate to do mark making and to create all kinds of paper. And actually, I made a mistake earlier. This is the print where we're going to use the circle on, not the that previous uh, print that I made. So this one, you're going to see how I use that small circle jelly plate to just add to the design. And so I love making dots and lines and things like that. So I do a lot of that. <laughs> and I'm really starting to like how this piece is coming out. I like it a lot. And so here I am using the little circle here. And I just, I can put it wherever I want to on this piece of paper. And I like it. I really, that's probably one of my favorite pieces that came out of this session. And I like that you can write words here and, and put this right on the paper. This is nice for people who don't have a way to make stencils. And now here's another stencil where I actually wrote out these words here and I created a mesh stencil. And I plan to use a lot of words in my art in the future or the near future. So that is what the purpose of this is. And so I'm going to I let it dry and then I added it to this piece. Sometimes letting it dry really helps it come off better. So you'll see here. So there you go. You can actually write out words. You can do so much with the jelly plate. So I really recommend, highly recommend it for mark making among all the different ways that you can do mark making. So in a second, I am going to start using a custom stamp that I made. I made out of rubber on this piece. And in a little bit, we'll see how that worked out. But I love that you can, you can pretty much use anything on here. It's To me, it always feels like I'm printing like a printer, but in a different way. And that didn't work out so well. The paint had dried so let's try it again and put some color and you can always uh, get it off you just have to sometimes put a little paint there and even better if you just let it dry just a little bit and then pull it up but this just gives you uh, basically shows you that you can use almost anything on this jelly plate so here we go. I don't like this, but <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. So there's just so much fun you can have the jelly plate. I really hope you are enjoying this video and that you plan to go and do some mark making yourself. Please like this video if you like it and subscribe and click the bell. And let me know if you have any questions in the comments because I am definitely willing to help. And just let me know what you think.
about using the jelly plate for mark making.